ओके सो नाउ ऑन नो बडी कैन क्वेश्चन माय इंटेग्रिटी एंड माय डेडिकेशन टूवर्ड्स दिस चैनल बिकॉज आई एम फिल्मिंग दिस एट एट फोर्टी वन on a saturday morning hey guys welcome back so last sunday there was no new video and that is because basically i was a little busy second thing i did reupload an old video of mine uh, that had like a copyright claim so i just changed up the audio and reuploaded it you can just check it out here here somewhere <laughs> so for today's video oh my god i am so excited i mean i really wanted to film this video yeah one of the problems of filming at 8:45 in the morning is the milkman outside <laughs> i have been looking forward to the launch of this product ever since i saw it coming i was just waiting for it to launch in india and when it finally did i did get a shade in my hand i'm not going to lie and tell you that i'm going to try this for the first time today i have tried this product before and spoiler alert i love it when you look at my full face right now one thing is clearly missing and that is Yes, a lipstick. I'm not going to hype this up more than it needs to be. So today, I'm going to be reviewing the Maybelline Superstay Vinyl Ink Lipstick. So once this launched, I was like trying not to fall into the hype and buy one, but I ended up buying one shade and using it and absolutely falling in love with it. So I just ordered a second shade and thought that I should come and talk about this on my YouTube video because it deserved a standalone YouTube video. We're going to see some drastic lighting changes because it just started raining outside. I ha I just have the worst luck. So this lipstick is supposed to be a revolutionary formula that is going to give you glossy lips but also make it transfer proof one problem that i always have when i wear a gloss on top of my lipstick is that when my hair falls on it it just leaves those streaks and then my hair starts sticking to it it is the most annoying feeling in the world but also when it comes to transfer proof lipsticks and lipsticks that promise you like an all day wear i always see that they try to dry out my lips uh, they may stay on for a long time but my lips just feel very dry i just always feel like removing it and putting on a lip balm so when you're combining a gloss with a transfer proof lipstick it just looks like a dream come true and it kind of is first things first let's talk about the packaging uh, the shade of the lipstick is on the entire package so there is no confusion there it has a very unique uh, embossing which says vinyl on top of it and two shades together can sort of fit like a jigsaw puzzle and i find that really cool like kudos to the product design team this has been done really really well i think these lipsticks are available in like 9 to 10 shades on nika i mean the shade range is kind of limited compared to how many shades this actually has and i think most of them have not launched in india yet coming to the price of this product it is priced at 849 rupees on nika this may seem a little bit much for people especially for a brand like maybelline which is a drugstore brand and mainly concentrates on like affordable products wow it's raining pretty heavily but i think uh, some of the price that you pay goes into the packaging because it is done up really really well it feels like one of those high end brands and doesn't seem like something that would come from maybelline you get 4.2 ml of product for what you pay and i think that's a decent amount none of the ingredients are listed on the website which I find really annoying to be honest. I like brands to be more transparent. The instructions to use this it's basically given shake, swipe and go. So one thing that everybody says is to give this product a good shake before using it. It's raining like mad, bro. Okay, so two shades I have with me right here are 40 witty and 10 lippy witty is like a mauvey pink shade uh, that has some cool undertones i think it's a very very versatile shade that can suit a lot of skin tones and lippy right here has some warm undertones it's more on the browny nude side and it's a really pretty shade the website shows these shades as a little more saturated and a little more brighter but when it comes to you it's a little more duller so today i'm going to do like a sort of like a wear test thing because uh, i have a few places that i need to go to so i thought why not test this lipstick out and like show you how it wears off after i eat and things like that so i've been using witty for a while it was the first shade i bought so today i'm going to try lippy the applicator is really nice long and something that can like easily pan over your lips especially if you have bigger and fuller lips okay less talking more applying it does have a very distinct smell but i don't really know how to describe it it's not bad it's been one full minute and i'm just going to do the test now okay so there is like the slightest of transfer from my lips and mostly it is the gloss that is on top and i think it needs a little more time to dry down but then when you look at my lips it looks the same it's like nothing has gone i will say though that this has like a little bit of a sticky payoff like which is okay by me it is 
very subjective if you have a problem with it then i think you should stay away uh, so let's see how this lipstick wears throughout the day and i will take you along my day and show you how this performs so wait and watch Okay, I am back after having probably the most hectic day ever. First of all, my apologies for the terrible lighting, but I am still figuring out how to film YouTube videos at night. Okay, let's talk about the elephant in the room, which is my lips. So I haven't touched up my makeup the entire day because I just had no time. So as you can see, the lipstick has come off in a lot of places, especially the inner lips. Uh, my inner lip has this tendency to not hold on to lipstick at all and talking about the other parts i can see my lips peeking through in some areas it's lost that glossiness i would say i've been wearing this lipstick from i think 8 30 8 45 in the morning and right now as you can see the time is like 6 40 but it's still there which is crazy as you saw earlier a little bit came off on the straw and stuff but other than that like bro this is like insane okay now i'm just gonna test how this lipstick layers on top uh, of the existing lipstick. When it comes to matte lipsticks and formulas like this, when you layer lipstick over it, it just doesn't look as seamless and it just crunches and bunches up in weird places. Your lips look very, very uneven. It is back to how it looked before. My mind is blown. I have found my new favorite lipstick. When it comes to my final verdict, I 101 and 1000 and 2000 and 1 million person recommend this lipstick. Try it out, like get a shade, try it out. Come back and tell me what you think about it. And what a brilliant formula to use on brides and people on their very big day. Obviously brides can't go about touching up their lipstick every two hours and they need something that is absolutely long wearing but at the same time comfortable on the lips. I hope you all follow me on both my Instagram accounts, Seba Sultana, where I upload my own makeup stuff like some cool reels and like avant-garde editorial looks and stuff like that. And Makeup by Seba, where I upload pictures of my clients. Don't forget to leave a comment, like, subscribe. I mean, the whole drill. You guys know. I don't even have to say it. Just do it. And I hope I can come up with a video next Sunday. If I don't, come and yell at me in the comments. I had a great time filming this video and I hope you all enjoyed it as well. I will see you in the next one. Bye!